Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech and today we're talking about Windows 10. A lot of you have probably been holding off on upgrading, but there is a deadline coming up and I wanted to talk about whether or not you should keep holding out on Windows 10 or just give up and upgrade if you haven't already and some reasons why. Now, I am of the opinion that you should just upgrade. On July 29th, Windows 10 is not going to be offering a free upgrade anymore. You're going to have to pay probably around $99 to upgrade from your current Windows version. And why would you want to do that if you're going to be able to get it free for now? I know a lot of people have been saying that the Windows 10 upgrade notification is really annoying. They don't want to upgrade. They think they enjoy their current operating system. It's fine. But really, there's no real downside to upgrading. I mean, at this point, there's a lot of compatibility issues that were fixed. Maybe I could see if you were right at the beginning of the Windows 10 release and you weren't sure if there, there would be compatibility issues. But at this point, we're a year in. Everything's really been ironed out. And if you are concerned about privacy, there are ways to address that as well. For example, just enabling a local account as opposed to a Microsoft linked account. Another thing to remember is you're probably going to have to upgrade eventually anyway. Windows always is moving forward and they drop old versions from support, meaning you're going to have less security, mostly less support in general, and then you're going to have to upgrade eventually anyway. And if you can get the free upgrade right now and get all the updates going forward, the better security patches, everything, there's no real reason to not do that. I think the security patches are probably the best benefit and Windows 10 is releasing the anniversary update around the same time as it was released last year. I believe it's August 2nd. So you're going to get a lot of security patches, a couple new features for that as well. Also, come October, you're not going to be able to buy any more OEM Windows 7, which means when you buy a new computer, you're not going to be able to get Windows 7 on it. It's going to have to be probably Windows 10. I don't know if they're going to even do Windows 8 anymore because Windows 10, Microsoft is really pushing as the last version of Windows. And the reason for that is they're not going to have any more big, huge chunk updates like Windows 7, Windows 8.1. It's going to be much more incremental updates with maybe some big free patches along the way, such as this anniversary update I was just mentioning, which is more akin to a service pack. So we're gonna see probably more frequent service pack type updates in size, as opposed to every few years releasing a mammoth new version. And going further on to these updates, in addition to being able to get more frequent updates on Windows 10, Windows 7 is going to be much less frequently updated, maybe except for security patches. You're not going to see any new features for Windows 7 or even Windows 8. Everything is going to be focused on Windows 10. So if you want to have the state-of-the-art technology and features, you got to go with Windows 10. And really, I don't even think Windows 10 is that bad of an operating system. Jokes aside, people criticize Windows 10 all the time, but I think it's totally fine. I mean, yeah, Windows 7 was probably the best in terms of upgrading over previous versions, especially Vista. And yeah, you might not be able to get used to the start menu. Windows 8 was pretty terrible, but Windows 10, it's really fine. You get used to it. There's aspects of the start menu that you can customize, make it really closer to Windows 7, even though it doesn't look the same. Windows 10 really has a lot of the same features and it works great. So I guess the whole point of this video is that there's really no reason to not upgrade at this point. And if you've been holding off, you probably should before July 29th. There's not that much time left and you can save yourself a lot of money, a lot of headache because, you know, maybe a year from now you do have to upgrade anyway and then you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot because you have to spend an extra hundred dollars. So that's really all I wanted to say. This probably won't be that long of a video, I hope. If you guys have any thoughts of your own, be sure to let us know down in the comments section. If you really want to hold out on Windows 10, why? Maybe there are some good reasons I didn't think of. Maybe if you really have to use some old software that does not work on anything except Windows XP, maybe that's a good reason. But other than that, there's really no reason to upgrade. I think you just should. So if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out some other videos on the right hand side, including that Windows 10 anniversary update video I was talking about. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.